よ。Could I lose to an ego that defies the state of the world? How could I lose to these emotions I've abandoned? I will not accept this. I refuse to accept this. I will not be defeated by the likes of you! You're struggling in vain. Your losing was long ordained. You, whose endeavors left nothing to show, have already lost to this world long ago. Silence! Stay out of this beast! Tristia! Yoru! Get up! Now! Damn it! Stand up and fight! I command you! A pitiful man with no hint of esteem. Perhaps you were happier lost in a dream. 
My monarchs, they're vanishing. But my ideals haven't been shattered. Oh, on the contrary. They did just before. The second you threw your own wish out the door, you gave up your wish, your deepest desire. You quenched what was left of your heart's deepest fire. For years did your brittle ideals subside. They couldn't take having their purpose denied. Your prided principles have perished. But I... I only gave them up for her sake. You are but a fool of your own designation, fussing over matters above mortal station. Hugo! Gee, <laughs> lighten up a little. It's not like his life's on the line. Other pact bearers had similar ordeals. Part of his soul shattered with his ideals. Wait. We weren't supposed to defeat Miss Sora and Yoru! The Vice President is going to disappear! <clears throat> Damn it! Get the gate open already! We gotta shove him in there! Will he make it in time? What if he disappears inside the gate? Panic! Panic! No! Calm yourselves. We can't! He's about to disappear! If you know something, tell us, Vanitas! What should we do? You've all attained awareness of an almighty actuality. Even if he were to disappear, you need only to prove your worth once more, then present to the god what you wish for. His revival as a human soul. Or... Was that not your major goal? No. This isn't about us bringing him back. I don't want to see him disappear at all. Not again. Yeah, even if we did get him back, I've had enough taken from me already. Please, Mr. Bunny! Help us! <laughs> Humans are incomprehensibly strange. Every last one is completely deranged. Yeah. You are a demon, plain and stark. One who had failed to become a monarch. Hugo's ideals supplied you with power. Losing them puts you in your final hour. Monarchs draw strength from ideals that rise, by means of their pacts with their human allies. In different words, and this is a fact, someone among you all must form a pact. Do so, and even this monarch who failed will, through his ideals, be briefly bailed. I'll do it. I'll make a pact with him. That's okay, right, Mr. Bunny? I'm not a pact bearer yet. Indeed. Geo, tell him to live, lest he fall apart. Make it a wish from the depths of your heart. As for you... Take an oath and swear a vow that you will live no matter how. <sighs> Please, don't disappear. You're special to me. I'm begging you. You have to live. It is 
insufficient. Shinya? <sighs> you have to live. I'm worried about the distortions this will cause in the world. That goes without saying. But even so, I want you to stay alive. I want that so much it defies all logic and reason. That's my ego. The light. It's getting brighter. What's happening? Isn't this supposed to be a one monarch, one pack bear kind of deal? Exceptions exist. So long as their wishes are the same, souls of similar structure can share. Like Akane and Sumire? But they were twins, unlike any of us. You share your recurring soul's memories due to the resonance that he carries. Were that the cause, I'd not be surprised. The shape of your souls have harmonized. Then in that case, I'll wish with you. I will too. Count me in. You guys couldn't do this without me anyway. You have to live. I vowed to keep my promise to you. I don't want to feel the pain of breaking it ever again. Without you, I'd be all by myself again. So live. Please, don't leave me all on my own. Yo, Mr. VP, don't give up, all right? As long as you keep going, I'll be with you every step of the way. So come on, live! I don't want you to disappear. I made you a promise. Stay by my side. Don't even think about fading away on us. Please... Stay with us... And live! Vanitas. Is this our ideal? It's pretty small compared to the ones we've seen before. <laughs> Defunct, defective, and dull. Just one look says it all. Say that again. His monarchhood is not quite up to snuff. His principles aren't condensed enough. Alas, the authority of vanity will be absent among you. However, if all you desire is for him to live, he should last for several days. Take or give. <sighs> that is relieving to hear. <laughs> Don't freak us out like that. Now! <laughs> no 
Nozomi, Henry Otaro, Shinya, Chio, Kokoro. Step to the gate, make your way through. Do so and surely your wish will come true. Hey, Vanitas. Is what Mr. Yugo said true? That even if we wished the distortions away from the world, they'd just be ripped by some other threat? That would depend on the way one perceives. Threats and distortions are what one believes. Change can impact things in various ways. Some you might see with a negative gaze. Whatever the case, if still you have faith in your ego and wishes left on your plate, then gather together your gumption and go into the gate. <laughs> You don't have to tell us twice. Right. It wouldn't make sense to give up now. Our resolve is firm. Let's make our wish, everyone. We have a promise to keep. Um... What's wrong, Chio? Shouldn't we take Mr. Yugo to the infirmary first? I'm sure all of us are tired, too. Plus, we don't know what's waiting for us on the other side of the gate. Maybe it'd be better if we took a break and come back? Huh. You got a point there. Agreed. Preparation is important, and the gate will not go anywhere. Sounds like a plan. I'll carry you go back with us. All right. Let's return to the classroom and come back after we've had some time to catch our breath. Thanks for looking out for us, Chio. <laughs> of course. Anyway, we're going to head back to the academy for now. See you in a bit. Reaches. Vain. Empty ego. The academy seems to be getting fainter. Maybe it's because Mr. Yugo's ideals are gone. All we have to do now is make it out safely. Then we can live happily ever after. <laughs> it almost astounds me how blithe you all are. That's not to say being prepared is bizarre. But even so, You'd best look alive. The final hurdle has yet to arrive. Your moment of truth, abundant in strife, shall ascertain if you're entitled to life. Let loose your power and do not succumb. Prove just how far that your ego has come. Vice President. I'm glad we were all able to make it back here safely, especially you. But it's still too early to relax. We don't know what's waiting for us on the other side of the gate. What if it's one of those scary, wrathful gods? It could just pop out of nowhere and start chasing us around. <sighs> well, whatever's there, we'll be okay as long as we're prepared. Seriously, man. Don't scare me like that. You have any idea how freaked out I got when you started disappearing? 
Anyway, we don't have a clue what that god behind the gate's gonna be like. But if there's one thing we know how to do, it's deal with shit, no matter how deep in it we get. Dr. Nako gave Yugo a checkup. She said he seems fine, more or less. I'm sure he'll recover eventually, like the other pack bearers. I'm worried about what memories he's going to lose, though. I really do care about him. He's... irreplaceable to me. Oh, the same goes for you too, of course. I just... hope Yugo and I can go back to the way we were once he wakes up. Our battle with Mr. Yugo answered a great many questions. Both about him and you as well. But another mystery has taken its place. Tell me... Just what in the world is Venitas? He easily stopped Mr. Yugo's attacks. He's far too strong to not be a monarch. Not to mention, he's overly knowledgeable about matters pertaining to the other world. Still... I don't think he's an enemy, given how he's behaved so far. Perfectly prepared? <laughs> Lay your worthy hands upon the gate. Open the path that leads to your fate. The rest of you can enter too. Just follow him as he goes through. Huh? But Ryotaro couldn't get in before, right? Completely correct. He couldn't. Normally, only the worthy and great are actually able to pass through the gate. But, by the pact that you have created, the bonds between your souls have upgraded. All of you are bound by prayer, both in your wish and the monarch you share. In other words, naught will prevent it from being done. Should you all pass through the gate as one? Hmm... That sounds like kind of a cop-out. But okay, I guess. <laughs> How long do you plan to make us wait? Hurry it up and open the gate! dwells in each of you. Follow your egos and see your wishes through. So this is the other side of the gate? The hell? There's nothing here. Nothingness upon nothingness. A world of empty void. Is the god out for lunch, maybe? Was there even a god here to begin with? <laughs> Silent, spacious, still. I'm sure it's more boring than you had expected. It's hard to look out there and not feel dejected.
Does this supposed god even exist? We've a philosopher here in our midst. In a certain sense, yea, but another sense, nay. The entity known as the god of this place is mostly constructed of mere empty space. What does that even mean, Mr. Bunny? Did you trick us? Don't be daft. I do not deceive. This is what lies past the gated facade. A prison housing the wish-granting god. What are you playing at? You're the only one here besides us. Yeah, we've got a wish to make. If this god really is here, why don't you tell it to show up already? <laughs> the god with whom you seek to fraternize has always been right here before your eyes. You don't mean... But you're just a stuffed animal. If this is a joke, I'm not laughing. Mr. Bunny is a god? Comparatively correct, though not completely. My corporeal corpus can't come out of this cage's confinement. A pitiful human had wished it be so. Such was the oath I would rather forego. I am an incarnation. The true God will manifest momentarily with myself as its medium. Present to the God your egos and your will. Do so, and your wishes it will surely fulfill. Why, what? <laughs> I just lent a hand to help keep the pace. Fate already deemed you would reach this place. Wayward whims and flights of fancy. Solitary seclusion is so sorely stale. A bored god? <laughs> This is a joke. <laughs> I am absolute, yet apathetic. Invariable, yet impressionable. In short, even one of my station has moments of deep contemplation. What? Benitas? I don't like where this is going. What are your intentions? As I mentioned, the god will manifest momentarily. It is me, yet also not, as it were. Brace yourselves, for anything could occur. Anything, huh? I've got a bad feeling about this. The god grants one wish to those who it meets, provided they're part of the worthy elites. All of you must prove that you are worthy to go near it. Through unwavering egos, immovable will, and unshakable spirit. Where you are now is the other world, the metaphysical realm unfurled. Your magic ears, your powers, all are fueled by your ego, will, and spirit. Therefore, it is only by wielding them that you can demonstrate your merit. <laughs> Do you not harbor disquiet and fear over granting the wish you hold so dear?
<laughs> Still so stubborn. I'll give you one final piece of assistance. Emptiness is the essence of existence. There is no such thing as meaning or worth. They're merely vain concepts to which man gave birth. And yet, by the same token, no matter what you do to the world, you'll never be denied. For threats and distortions aren't things innately classified. So distort all you want. Defy common sense. I sure wouldn't take any major offense. For emptiness is, as ever, the essence of existence. For in a way, this world has been riven and warped the womb. <laughs> you, who have come into being with an ego and will to bear, Submerge in your vanity all you perceive as irrational and unfair. For your ego is what you are. Worry not about the world and live as you will on the earth. That is, after all, the reason you were given an ego at birth. <laughs> the time for talk is through. All that is left is to make me aware. Show me the radiant souls that you bear. Children of man. My name is Yog Sathoth. Tremble in delight, for I am the Abyss. I am one, and I am all the part and the sum, the world and the self, ephemeral, eternal. Emptiness, emergence, existence. This is the god? But it feels more like a... <sighs> like a demon. Incorrect. Yogg-Sothoth is undoubtedly a god. Albeit an evil one. <laughs> That makes sense. It sure looks like something that can pump out demons. You who have worn your egos proud. You who have held your wills up high. Present them unto me. Let's go, 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 go. With this bounty. Together as one. With all of my heart. My ego.
Proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. My recognition. Your egos, your wills, your hearts and minds, the radiance of your souls. <laughs> you who are worthy, relay unto me the wish you desire.
It can be done. However, it is doubtful that this wish is shared amongst you all. Speak the wish you swore upon. And with pride, you have prevailed in your struggle against the irrational and unjust. Furthermore... <laughs> the days that I mingled alongside you all were always amusing and never banal. Farewell. The world is empty, devoid of meaning, devoid of worth, devoid of all fairness and rationality. But even so, that's all the more reason. I pray that your ego fills this vacant world with the vanity it so desperately needs. Academy right now. What's the first thing you would do? I'd want to sleep in my own bed. It's so soft and fluffy. A delightful plan. I would do the same. That sounds nice. I'll steal that one too. Eat a mountain of junk food, probably. Wow. I didn't expect your answers to be so basic. Get our promise, okay? Once we get outside, we're gonna go to a whole bunch of cafes together. That look on your face is abundantly clear. It screams, what the heck are you still doing here? I'm just dealing with the dull, dreary doldrums is all. 
I figured I might as well stay as your guide till the barrier's gone and you make it outside. <laughs> Fraternizing with you frivolous farcical fools never fails to be fun. It isn't as if I were lonesome or anything. So much has happened. But at least in this timeline, none of the students were injured or killed. It's all thanks to you, as well as Dr. Kakeru for turning back time. If only he could have survived with us. And Miss Sora, the monarch of woe, is gone too. Still, it's a miracle no one else was harmed. So, we can finally get out of here, huh? We never did find a way to get rid of the distortions, though. <sighs> if I want to take back my Gramps' company, I have no choice but to use my authority. Can't think of any normal way to get one over on my old man and my dumbass brother. <laughs> but you know, what Vanita said to you got me thinking. Submerge in your vanity all you perceive as irrational and unfair. If that's an option, then maybe following my Gramps' dream isn't the only future for me. Doing that was like trying to fit a round peg into a square hole. Maybe I should just forget about carrying on my Gramps' dream, or that stupid company. Might be fun to just start my own. One that makes my Gramps, Dad, and Brother look like babies, playing with building blocks. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Sora was actually a monarch, but now she's gone, and Yugo still not conscious. Even if I'm not their son by blood, that leaves me as the only Jingu left right now. If that's still the case when the Academy goes back to normal, that won't be good news for anyone. <sighs> What's going to happen to the Academy now? Now we can always be together. My wish is to stay by your side, so I can get to know you better. I'm so happy. And on that note, your happiness is not a factor in this. I am no longer safe nor secure. You must take responsibility. You're stuck with me after all. Oh, by the way, I've been reading Mr. Hugo's, uh, I mean, Hugo Cromwell's writings. Supposedly, there is a special sign that can be found in the Abyss. The point it leads to is a curious place. It is said that monarchs who haven't made a pact exist there. Hey, Kokoro! You're a bookworm, right? How did you know? Well, just call it a hunch. If you insist. What kind of books do you like to read? I am not picky about genre. I read everything. Literature, web novels, mysteries, science fiction, philosophy, history, how-to books. It doesn't matter whether they're short or long. They are no match for me. Whoa! You really do love books. Is there a reason why? A reason? My mother used to praise me for every book I completed. That is why I read so many. Aww. That actually sounds kind of sweet. Uh, 